Hi folks! It's about 8 o'clock in the morning and I'm going to the Space Centre later, so that's going to be fun. Right now I'm still in my bed, I've been watching TV for a little bit and I should probably start getting ready. I've been kind of getting ready slow time and unpacking things and putting them into the safe and things, which is really good. So it's about an hour before I need to be down in the foyer to be picked up. So I have to get dressed, I need to pack everything away, and I might try and find something to eat, but I'm not too sure yet. Right, well it only took me about three hours, but voila! My hotel room is pretty tidy. Not entirely tidy, but tidy enough that I feel the maids can come in. Um, I'm usually quite funny about what they actually see. Not that there's anything in there, but I just feel like... They shouldn't be tidying up over too many things. Anyways, so I am about to head downstairs and my um, shuttle to the space centre is coming in about 20 minutes or so. There's also down in the foyer a kind of grab-and-go area where you can quickly pick up some food and stuff. I don't actually really know what's down there. But I'll maybe see if there's anything worth eating for breakfast because so far all I've had is cheesecake. And that's not really the best thing to have at the beginning of the day. So I'll see if anything takes my fancy. At the very least there's some water down there. They've kind of infused it with cucumber and it is absolutely delicious. I'll need to remember that. Okay, so time for me to head downstairs and eventually to the space centre. Okay, so we've just started our 45 minute journey to NASA and this bus is really comfy. I'm on with four other people, so it's quite a small group. And I definitely think this is the way forward. We've made it to the Space Center. Isn't that lovely? I'm guessing there's going to be more rockets once we get inside. While everybody's off the bus, I'll quickly sh show you it. Look at this. Black tars windows and everything, it's really cool, so comfy. So um, I really feel like this is a good deal, just being able to get out for a day. And it's a lovely sunny day as well. I'm really enjoying this, so I think it's going to be mostly indoors. But that's okay, that's okay. I still think it's going to be really good. Okay, so we've now been sent on the shuttle tour to begin our day. Apparently we're going to Mission Control later. Our tour guide has been so good, she's told us which order we should see everything in, in order to see as much as we possibly can in one day. So um, that should be really good. So we're just waiting on everybody getting on now. They did take my pictures I was getting on, so I think it's going to be like superimposed into something later. I have no idea. But yeah, we're just waiting on everybody filling onto this thing. I've only ever seen these things in movies, it's so cool. So anyway, I'm excited to start my journey into space. Oh, yeah. Okay, so first off on the tour, we're heading into Mission Control. This is insanely cool. You know when they say, like, Houston, we have a problem? <laughs> That's this place. Okay. Well, no, it's like whoever's up in space, but they're talking to the people here. This room here is where we've been listening to a little presentation. It's connected to Mission Control. And it seemed a little strange to me that this was here because this room hasn't changed since the 60s or it did temporarily and now it's back since 1965 thank you <laughs> and it seemed a little strange to me that they had a seating area when the um the lovely man there that we were talking to said that they didn't know that they were going to be making history and the reason they put that in is because everybody's always been intrigued with space travel and things. So that's very much for VIPs and family members of the spacemen. And I think that was a very smart move. It's weird that they, like 50 years on, they probably never thought that there'd actually be people wanting to come in and just see the empty room. It was a very smart move. Okay, so I'm a pretty tall person, but these rockets make me feel tiny. This is the first one. And then this one here. It's like, whoa. Okay, I'm so bad at filming this. They basically let us off the tram and then said that we can go back at any time. This is like a place we can freely explore. 
and there'll be trams going past regularly, which is all good. While I'm here, I couldn't resist coming over to say hello to the Texas Longhorns. I never really expected to see cows at, um, at a space centre. But yeah, here we go. And there's some over here having a snooze. Anyways, I suppose I should get back to space stuff. If I'd wanted to see animals, I probably should have went to the zoo instead. This thing is huge. I don't know if that's coming across on camera. But seriously, if you don't think it's huge, I suggest you go and find yourself a real rocket. And then maybe you'll realise how big they are. I love how this building is just long enough to fit in this. It's like if this had been an inch longer, that thing would have been touching the top there. And I noticed in the middle here you can go over and see the inside, which is really cool. Now, while I do say it's huge, it is still looking like cramped living conditions for somebody. A plane has just flown by. Oh, it's still flowing, flying by. That's the most confusing sound ever when you're at the space station. Because my mind goes to rockets. Okay, so while I'm waiting on the next shuttle, let's continue. Things you would find in America, but not anywhere else. And that's grape soda. I have never, ever, ever seen this in the UK. And I'm very intrigued, so I think I'm going to go and test this out. As they say in all the stereotypical English things, bottoms up. That pretty much tastes as I expected it to. It tastes like a grape flavoured Jolly Rancher. That's the nearest I can really describe it. It doesn't really taste like wine or like grapes to me, but it definitely tastes like a grape Jolly Rancher. And I could definitely drink that. Now 75 cents too, that's an absolute bargain if you ask me. Mm, I could drink that. That's a good one. I'd say that gets a 5 out of 5. It's everything I wanted it to be. Right, it's time for lunch now. So this is my pepperoni pizza. That was a really decent slice. It was um, $3.99 before tax, which I think is pretty reasonable. I think altogether it came to about $4.30 or something, which again is totally fine with me. So I'm going to eat that and then quickly get out and see what else there is to see. I don't know if it's because I didn't have breakfast. I don't know if it's because I haven't had pizza for a while. I don't know if it's because it was made to my specifications, but that pizza was absolutely lovely. And now I'm going to go for a frozen yogurt served by a robot. This should be fun. I know this is for kids, but I barely ever see frozen yoghurt in the UK as it is. And seeing it made by a robot just makes it even better. Yay! Thank you, robot. Because it's the week of the Super Bowl, the Space Centre is having an extra tour that they don't usually have. And it's to the astronaut training pool and that's basically like a massive massive swimming pool and the reason why they have a, a massive swimming pool is because being underwater is the nearest they can get to simulating weightlessness so um, that's not a tour they usually do but because it's the week of the Super Bowl and there's loads of people visiting they thought it would be really cool to have an extra tour so I think I'm going to try and get on that later. I'm not re really sure which time it starts. But I was given an itinerary of what to do today. And I think I'm going to stray away from that a little bit and definitely go on that tour because it's not one that I'm likely to see again. This yogurt, by the way, is lovely. But it's really, really, like, it's really big. That's like half of my head right there. And... I do like a lot of ice cream, but that's an awful lot to eat just in one go, I think. Like, bigger portions in America. I love it, but it makes me feel very dainty. <laughs> well, I've just turned up for the astronaut training pool thing, and I'm the only one! It's just me! 
So this could be a very, very exclusive tour. Right, well we've managed to find two more people for the tour. So a grand total of three. And, thank you. You're welcome. And another bus. Here we go. If this pool is so big, it is the equivalent to 560 backyard swimming pools. Wow. It holds 6.2 million gallons worth of water. It took them four weeks to fill it when they first got this place built. So are these parts of like a spaceship in the pool with it, or is that...? Yes, this is the mock-up of the ISS, and this is where they train to work on the outside. Oh, cool. Yeah, on the red tour to the astronaut training facility, that's where they train to, uh, on the inside. This is where they train on the outside. That was really cool. That's like the biggest pool I've ever seen. Second biggest in the world. Really cool. When I came in, <laughs> when I came in the building, the smell of chlorine hit me right away. And it just took me back to the competitive swimming days. That pool was 40 foot deep, and that was 20 foot to ground level, and then 20 foot underneath that, which is, like, I just can't imagine that. I used to, I used to swim in a six foot deep pool. So that's like six times and a bit what I'd be used to diving in, which is just mad. They only let trained divers go down and explore everything that's there. And that just made me want to get a diving certificate, just so I could go and explore everything that was there. Really cool place. That tour the guy was saying wasn't particularly popular today. They've had like quite a low turnout for it, but I, I really enjoyed it. If you're ever around and uh, offering the chance to go over to that unit, go, it's fun. It's something a bit different. Thank you. Okay, so we've just started our 45 minute journey to NASA and this bus is really comfy. Oh, tunnel. Okay, so we've just started our 45 minute journey to NASA and this bus is really comfy. I'm on with four other people, so it's quite a small group.